Okay, we're back here on election night. A number of uh, notable firsts uh, congressionally here this year, um, including uh, Ed, two Muslim American women. Yeah, big night for for, Muslim, for women generally, but but now also for Muslim American women. Uh, Rashida Tlaib, who was a 41 year old. Uh, elected from the Detroit area district of Michigan's 13th, and Ilhan Omar, 36-year-old from Minnesota's 5th congressional district. Both of them, uh, again, good examples of those types of women who stepped up to run. Uh, they just happen to be running in districts uh, that are predominantly, uh, or at least have enough Muslim American votes to uh, help get them over the top. Two Muslim women elected, um, Nancy, two Native Americans elected. Correct. Uh, the first two Native American women in Congress, Deb Holland of New Mexico and Sharice Davids of Kansas, who, by the way, will also, I believe, be the first female mixed martial arts professional. Uh, to come now we're reaching into Pictionary <laughs> random trivia territory. <laughs> we're setting all kinds of firsts uh, here. We can keep going as with we, this. As we talk about mixed martial arts, yeah, yeah. what else? Two I mean, underactive criminal indictment. If you had that on your bingo board, finish your drink. Chris, Chris Collins, Chris Collins uh, and Duncan Hunter. Of right. New York and Duncan Hunter of California, both Republicans, both right. underactive federal indictment. And you would think that those two would uh, you'd go down tonight, but the reality is they're both from very red, red districts. Uh, so... They managed to pull it out, despite the fact that they stayed basically under wraps throughout the campaign. Didn't do a lot of talking to the press. Some people may be finishing their drinks, whether they've had that on their board or not. Um, uh, also interesting to note, uh, Ed, two former NFL players That's right. uh, elected Call, to Congress tonight. Colin Allred, the Democrat, winning in the 32nd District of Texas. That's Dallas. Uh, he played for the Tennessee Titans and later worked for the Justice Department under the Obama administration. And Anthony Gonzalez wins in the 16th District of Ohio. It's the Cleveland area. He played for the Indianapolis Colts. And if she wins, Young Kim of California's 39th District, Orange County, will be the first Korean-American woman elected to Congress. The race is leaning her way right now.